interrupt your journey with a question. You just did, but sure, ask away. It's an unusual request, so please forgive me. How would you advise someone who wishes to learn more about human nature and form closer bonds? I suppose you're asking for a friend, huh? Well, I guess you just gotta hang around. Your feet, yes. Watch. Whoa, fuck. You didn't answer Study. my question. That is just the advice I required. Uh, a thousand thanks for your assistance. Uh, I wish you a pleasant Something on journey. your face. A grenade. Can I ask why? You have a juggling accident or something? Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V. Correct. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Word Sue. Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. <laughs> Never know with you gringos. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who has? Got any friends in there? No. Why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? Better if you told me what you were planning from the get go. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. Don't even want him. As you were saying, <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really the fucking fuck good. You Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? Are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Of punks like you. Oh, Back that. It up. My I brother ripped it off during a fight. Your whole day. With pliers. Ooh. Another Happy family. Trying to kill me. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides... It's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> and does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? 
Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Watch it cuts my ass. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat.
someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about him. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? I don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over there. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? You know what? Hahn was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. You stink of junk food. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay.
A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Why are these docks called Ebonica? No idea who we're looking Pretty sure for. it's got nothing to do with it's some long dead around. mayor. I'll start wrong, from the left. You take the It's break. not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. Meaning you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Christine Markov. Where will I find her? I don't know her. Find something? Oh, not get out. You Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill. Please. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Jump, clown! Jump! Let's get this party started! Ha <laughs> ha ha! in the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. 
I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there.